Hello everyone, this is Ulrich from TentacleSync and uh, some might know I'm also the uh, developer of TentacleSync Studio for macOS. This will be the uh, first episode of a tutorial series about TentacleSync Studio and in this video I will give you just a short overview about what you can do with TentacleSync Studio. First, let me clarify something. Some people think that TentacleSync is a closed hardware software solution and uh, in fact it's not. Tentacle uses uh, just standard assembly time codes and uh, you can use uh, this uh, syncing software even if you don't have uh, a TentacleSync uh, hardware device. So it works with any kind of uh, time code and even if you have used the uh, competitor's products Uh, you can use Tentacle Sync Studio. Okay, let's jump right in. Um, first of all, you have to install this software and you can download it on our website under www.tentaclesync.com and uh, go to the download section and here you find the uh, DMG package you can install. I'm not going into detail how to install and how to uh, get a license. I will do a separate video for this, but uh, only for you to know there is a trial license, 14 days. And of course, if you are a Tentacle owner, then you can get the license for free. Okay, so this is what it looks like when starting up Tentacle Sync Studio. Here on the uh, left side, this is what we call the file browser. And uh, this is a drag and drop zone, so you can drag in folders and uh, files here. And uh, the right side here, this is what we call the viewer. And uh, down below the viewer, this is the timeline, where you can get a visual representation of your synchronized footage. So to show you how this works, we need to load in some footage. And I have something prepared here. Uh, this is a multicam camera shoot shot with uh, four different cameras, small cameras, Blackmagic Pocket, a GoPro, iPhone and an A7S. Audio has been recorded on a Zoom F8 recorder. So the easiest way to load footage in is just to take the top folder of all the cameras and uh, drag it into Tentacle Sync Studio. And uh, Sync Studio does some analyzing and here you are, here is your loaded in footage. You can see a lot of uh, information in the file browser, file name, file size, duration, information about the video and the audio codec uh, and finally the file and the audio TC. So what is the difference between the file and the audio TC? File TC is the timecode which is included in the metadata of the file. So this uh, is timecode the camera has written uh, into the file. And the audio timecode is the timecode uh, which has been recorded uh, on one of the audio tracks. And there are also these uh, colored dots here. Green means the track uh, is used in the synchronization process. Yellow means the track is there and everything is all right with that, but it's not used in the synchronization process. And red means that there's a track missing, which is needed for the synchronization process. So looking at the file here, uh, there's a yellow dot uh, for the file TC and a green dot for the audio TC, which means, yes, file TC is present and it's everything okay with that, but I don't need it for the synchronization process. I use the audio TC for a synchronization process. And you can change this if you want to simply by right clicking and using the context menu on that file. And there's a command like set sync source and you can set this to file time code and Now the green dot is at the file TC and the yellow dot is at the audio TC, which means file TC is used for synchronization and audio TC is there, but it's not used for synchronization. I'm not going any deeper here. There's only one thing you need to remember is always check for the context menu. There are a lot of things you can do with the context menu inside Tentacle Sync Studio. 
After you have loaded in your clips, you might want to check them with the sync info function. This is done by hitting the sync info button and this will show up these uh, red and green triangles here. And what does that mean? A green triangle does mean that Tentacle Sync has found other matching clips for the same time period of this clip. So this might be a good indication for that everything has gone all right. And uh, when you see a red triangle, this might be an indication for that there has been gone something wrong because there are no other clips matching this clip and that's what you want to do. You want to sync footage by timecode and you can only sync footage if there is any other matching footage. So if you load in your footage and uh, there are only red triangles there, then you might have a problem. But with our footage here, everything is fine because those clips showing a red triangle uh, were shot intentionally only with one camera. So there are no matching other clips here. Now we are finally ready to hit the sync map button. And by doing so, uh, Tentacle Sync will arrange all the footage uh, from the file browser in one timeline. And as you see here, it uh, only took one second to do so. The uh, software does automatically uh, arrange the camera angles to the right tracks and you can play this sagen, back here. And uh, you can change uh, the camera angles during playback and you can also uh, use the JK and L keys for shuttling. The last thing I would like to mention are the export options. Here you can choose between media, AAF and XML export. And yeah, media export will basically create a new QuickTime file out of the synchronized footage. And here you have the option to choose between path through and you can also convert your video to a more editing friendly codec like ProRes or something else. XML and AAF exports um, do not encode uh, your footage. Um, they are basically formats which are referencing the original uh, footage. And uh, AAF is used for Avid Media Composer. So you can transfer the sync map to Avid Media Composer and XML. Uh, there are the options for Premiere Pro and uh, Final Cut and uh, the new Final Cut X. So this was it. This was the first uh, tutorial video for Tentacle Sync Studio. And uh, hope you liked it and you did understand everything. If not, uh, please leave uh, a comment uh, down below. And if you liked the video, please give a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next video.